Does the weight of your pouch really make that much of a difference on how fast your ammo is going? I want to find out. Don't go away. So a while back, I got a comment uh, on one of my testing videos. Uh, the person in question was saying that I should probably switch to a microfiber pouch because I should be able to get at least 30 feet per second more from the from the weight of the pouch being reduced. And, uh, and I originally thought, oh, maybe, maybe it's a bit of an exaggeration. But, um, I mean, if we're talking about a giant pouch like this and a small pouch like that, maybe. It's a quite a, quite a big difference in weight. So uh, what I decided to do was, is we, I normally shoot 8mm steel. I wanted to see what kind of difference I can get with two different pouches that are designed for 8mm steel. One of them is this HTH bone pouch. And another one is this, um, this green guy I, I picked up somewhere. But if I take the, um, the two of them, I stack them on top of each other. The whole placement, although they are different shapes, are right on top of each other. So at least this way, um, when we set up our band sets on here and we start to pull the, the, band, the bands back, it won't pull uh, more or less on either one. I want to make sure that the elongation and the stretch of each band set is going to be exactly the same. So there can't be any kind of uh, any kind of messing around with that. So we're going to go ahead and cut some bands, get these guys together real quick. Now, I was wor a bit worried because they are slightly different shapes, that there may be a little bit of a difference um, from like the wind resistance or whatever. I'm trying to stop all variables, but I'm going to give you a quick look at these two bands stacked on top of each other, and you're going to see where um, – the, uh, the pouch is slightly bigger on one and in one spot and slightly bigger on the other, and the other spot. And I think there may be a little bit more surface area to the, the HGH bone pouch, but it's a tiny, tiny amount. So I'm going to give you a quick close-up of that, and then we're going to get into the vid. All right, we got the two pouches stacked on top of each other here. You can see the green pouch is slightly narrower at the ends than the HGH pouch, but it's also bigger in the center. So we're just about the same thing with good hole placement. All right, here's the first band set on the scale. It's uh, 2.15 uh, grams. All right, and the second band set is 2.15 grams, exactly the same. We're going to mark one band set A and the other band set B. Just to show you, I measured each piece of this ammo, and it came out at 2.09 grams each, all of those. Those are going to be our testers. All right, and just to show you everything's legit, here's the first pouch. We're at 0.52 of gram. And 0.31. Okay, so we're at 0.21 uh, difference in weight. So um, let's get this band set put together. And then we're going to go ahead and uh, try these out. All of the elastic bands have a one centimeter line on them. And that one centimeter line will be lined up with the inside of the hole of the pouch. I'm going to do my best to line up that line with the very, very inside line of that pouch. On both pouches, it's gonna be the exact same thing. So we can have the most accurate possible uh, setup we can get. I will be using the crystal string to tie on the pouches. All pieces have been cut to the exact length. I know it's kind of hard to tell they're all squiggly here, but they've been cut to the exact length, but we're gonna do eight wraps on each set. All right, we've got the scale zeroed out. We'll put the first band set in there. And the total weight is 2.61 grams for the leather pouch. Second band set, 2.40 grams. So that means we've got these things pretty much banged out exactly the same with only the, only the, uh, the pouch difference in weight. So that looks pretty good. Right, I'm going to be using the Axiom X for this test. reason why I chose this frame, as you can see in the clip there, it's got that little step. We can pretty much guarantee that we are going to get into the exact same position with both band sets when we're doing the testing. So I think we've pretty much got all the uh, variables kind of uh, solved and we should be good to go. So we got the Axiom X all dressed up in that 0.45 Jinpu. We got band set A on here, which is with the microfiber pouch. We're going to go ahead and take uh, 10 shots at that target down there. Be prepared to see some piss poor shooting. Uh, these bands aren't tuned. They're not set up for me at all. And actually, they're kind of foreign to me. I haven't done much shooting with a .45 at all. Uh, but uh, we'll see how it goes. <clears throat> I've got the random shots here. But we do have the weighed out ammo. 
so everything is going to be the same. Uh, they're all point, uh, 2.09 uh, grams, so we should be pretty good. I've also got the other band set ready to go. So uh, the only thing we got to do now is turn this guy around, take our, uh, our 10 shots at the target, and then we're going to put some through the crony and see what kind of speeds we get. All right, let's take our 10 warm-up shots. Woo. A little zippier than I expected. Here we go. So that's five shots. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Not bad. Eight of the ten bullseyes. First two were real bad, but everything else is in that red. I'm digging it. So I'm gonna set up the crony, and then we're gonna take our uh, our five shots with the uh, with the uh, precise uh, size ammo. So I took out five shots from the box, and I uh, I'm gonna stick them in my pocket just to make sure that I don't pull from here. Uh, it's kind of a habit, but um, I'm gonna go ahead and take the shots. I'm gonna try to hold on. I'm gonna try to hold on to the shot. Uh, for two seconds before I let go, just to eliminate that as well. And we'll see how it goes. But I'm just going to anchor one Mississippi, two Mississippi shoot. Okay, so let's see how it goes. Five shots. One Mississippi, two Mississippi. 243.9 feet per second. One Mississippi, two Mississippi. 238.0. One Mississippi, two Mississippi, 241.3. One Mississippi, two Mississippi, 240.6. One Mississippi, two Mississippi, and 239.7. That's our five shots, and we're actually pretty close. And now we're going to go ahead and take our shots with the heavier ammo, and we'll see how it goes. But I've got to change these guys up and take those 10 warm-up shots. Okay, here we are back at the line. We're going to take 10 more shots with the uh, slightly heavier pouch, and then we'll, uh, we'll test out the speed, see how we get. Here we go, first shot. You know what? I think I prefer the other pouch. Yep. I think that's seven shots. One, two, three, four, five, six, yeah, seven. Eight. Nine. 
Ooh, nine. That was a terrible shot. Let's finish this off with a bullseye. Ten. All right. That's our ten shots. Okay, we're back with a crony. I'm going to go ahead and take our five shots. I'm going to call them out just in case you can't see them, and we'll see how it goes. Again, two-second rule. One Mississippi, two Mississippi. The 232.3. One Mississippi, two Mississippi, two thirty. Okay, we are seeing a bit of a difference, by about ten feet per second, maybe. Thirty-seven point nine. Should have counted that one. One Mississippi, two Mississippi, two thirty-one point six. Last shot. Two Mississippi. 233.1. Okay, so I got all the speeds here. Everything's recorded. We got the average. All the math is done. So let's talk about it a little bit. We'll put the glasses on. And then I'll tell you what I've done. So we've got microfiber up here. We had 243.9 feet per second. 238. 241.3. 240.6 and 239.7. Now I've eliminated the fastest speed and the slowest speed just to get us, um, just in case I might have pulled back a little more or was a little short on one of these shots. So the remaining three that are here are 241, 240, and 239. The difference between these is two feet per second. Our average is 240.5. Over here we got leather 232.3. 230, 237.9, 231.6, and 233.1. And again, I eliminated the slowest and the fastest speed so we can get everything uh, as close as possible to the same. We had, um, again, just in case it was a little longer, a little shorter. So I eliminated the 237.9 and I eliminated the 230, which left us with 232.3, 231, and 233.1 which was, again, the same around the same of two uh, feet per second. Pretty damn close, pretty even. Now, the overall average of this was, of the leather pouch was 232.3, which gives us around um, 8.2 feet per second difference from having 2.1 of a gram heavier on one band set. If we take this all the way up to a gram, what would the speed difference be between the two uh, band, sp band uh, speeds or ammo speeds? What could be, who knows, a big difference. Could be a very big difference. So that said, guys, I think uh, the proof is in the pudding here. Uh, let's just go through it all. I weighed all the ammo. I weighed all the rubber. I weighed all the pouches. I did the exact same amount of wraps with the crystal string on all the bands. All the little ears I cut off as close to as even as possible. When we weighed out those bands at the end, we were pretty much bang on, if not bang on, to the 2.1 uh, grams difference from just the pouch sizes. On the forks, we made sure that we set them up on each frame, uh, down, to the, down to the little step where the bands uh, uh, attach, and those were lined up so everything was the same distance and as precise as humanly possible uh, before we took the shots and we let them go. The temperature was the same. Everything was just about the same. I don't see any other thing that we can make a big difference on compared to uh, on how we, how we went approach this, this project. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm going to go ahead and wrap this one up, but I hope it clears up any questions on uh, on what kind of small weight differences will actually affect your ammo speed in the end. Uh, I think we uh, pretty much banged this one out and uh, there's no question about it. So I'm going to go ahead and wrap this one up. You guys take care, stay safe, get on practice, be good to each other. I will see you again soon. I love you guys. You're freaking awesome. Take care for now. I'm going to go out and shoot some more. Hey, thanks for watching guys. If you like this video, hit that thumbs up button for me. Subscribe if you haven't already. Don't forget to hit those uh, notification bells. 
so you can see what I got coming out. I got a lot of good plans for good videos coming up soon. Anyway, hope you enjoyed this test. It was a lot of fun to figure it out, and uh, I was kind of surprised at how such a small amount can actually cause a big difference in uh, in ammo speed. And uh, if you're having problems getting your getting your speed up, maybe this could be an option for you to uh, switch out pouches, try some uh, microfiber or lighter lighter or smaller pouches, and you may be uh, on your way to regional speed you want. Anyway, uh, so far so good. I'm really liking this frame, and uh, this was a really fun video to shoot. Anyway, guys. You guys take care. Stay safe and shoot straight. We'll talk again soon. Bye for now.